My name is Frank Rosano, a technical account manager based in New Jersey. A common question that customers have is in the event an object is missing or deleted from an S3 bucket, how can I audit that object to determine the cause? And there are actually two answers to this question, S3 server access logs and CloudTrail logs. The server access logs are enabled on a per bucket basis and track S3 operations that are performed either manually or as part of a lifecycle policy. CloudTrail can also be configured to monitor object level operations like get object, delete object, and put object. But do note, however, that either server access logs or object level data events in CloudTrail must have been enabled prior to the object going missing. Today, we're going to take a look at how to use both of these tools to audit a missing object named file-31.bin. Let's get started. The first method that we'll look at is examining the Amazon S3 server access logs using Amazon Athena. Here, we're assuming that S3 access logging is enabled on the bucket and that Athena is configured with a database and table to query the access logs. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to Athena. Let's run a query for any delete actions that might have taken place on the object. We'll be sure to target the database and table specific to the S3 access logs. As we look at the results of this query, we can see the ARN of the requester who has deleted the object from the bucket on May 20th, 2022 at 1635 UTC. Now let's take a look at another audit method, CloudTrail logs. By default, CloudTrail does not capture data events, but we'll assume that your CloudTrail has been configured to monitor data events for S3 and that a table for that trail was created in Athena. From the AWS Management Console, we are again going to navigate to the Athena Console. From here, we'll query the CloudTrail logs for any delete object events related to our object. We'll be sure to target the database and table specific to the CloudTrail logs. The results of this query show more detailed logging around the specific request payload that was sent to the API. But ultimately, the results match what we saw in the S3 access log query. The ARN of the user deleted the object on May 20th, 2022 at 16.35 UTC. To prevent or mitigate future accidental deletions, it's a best practice to enable versioning on the bucket, enable cross-region replication, and enable MFA delete. And now you know how to leverage the power of Athena to audit missing and deleted objects with both S3 server access logs and CloudTrail logs. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>